Hmm. What is this? It was a cave in a desolate location. The ceiling of the cave was high, and it was dark. In the center of the cave was a massive pile of bones, as if someone had collected a hundred animals that had been dead for a long time, and then piled them together. There were several piles like that, each of which seemed to be made up of the remains of different creatures. And on top of those bones were the corpses of the creatures that had piled them up, scattered all over the floor. There was a snake corpse lying next to a frog corpse next to a dog corpse. A horse was lying on top of a fox's corpse. There were various other creatures there, too. They seemed to be from different species altogether. There was no trace of any blood on the bodies, but they were all in a state of total decay, as if they had been dead for ten or even twenty years. It seemed that their deaths had been quite recent, but there were no traces of how they had died. As for why there were no signs of blood, there were only two possible answers. Either this was not a battlefield, but rather an area where people had been gathering, or these creatures were not prey but rather living things that were simply weak enough that they could be preyed upon. This cave was in an area that was filled with dangerous monsters, but they weren't monsters that had attacked them. The remains of these creatures had probably been brought here by other creatures, and then piled up together. That was what was happening here. There was another corpse on the ground as well, which had already been picked clean. There was a human corpse lying on the ground. There were two lizard-like creatures crouched over it, but they seemed to be eating something else and didn't pay any attention to the body. They must have just eaten whatever they could find on their own, and then left the corpse behind. There was no way the humans here would have been capable of such a thing. The corpse was surrounded by the bones of other creatures. It was obvious that they hadn't just been lying there in that spot. Someone must have put the corpse there after they had died. It looked like a battle had broken out, but it hadn't happened here. It had been somewhere else, and these creatures had been killed and brought here after death. In other words, this was a place where corpses had been discarded. A group of adventurers had come here to take the corpses of these creatures back with them, but they'd been killed before they could do that, so they just piled up the corpses here. That was what the creatures below had done, as well. They probably heard about the adventurer corpses, and come to feast on them. As far as they were concerned, these were all just food. They wouldn't have thought anything of attacking the adventurers who came to pick them up, either. After all, Adventurers were just people, and their bodies were nothing more than meat. If they could kill the adventurers and eat them, then that was good enough. There were some things in this world that ate people as part of their diet. This wasn't one of them, though. The creature below that human corpse didn't have much in the way of intelligence. They were little more than animals, but they did have intelligence. That was why they knew that they could eat the corpses of the adventurers. They might not have realized what they were eating but at least they knew it was food. But even so, they were just too stupid. They didn't even understand why the adventurers had been killed.